decentralization. Um, this phrase that everybody who's interested can join. Uh, the idea that power has shifted to the edges and that's wonderful. I think those kind of statements underestimate the importance of political economy in the world and the very unequal relations between different groups of people. So when you look which edges power has shifted to, there is an awful lot of people who are not involved in internet governance at all, and one could well argue should actually be there. So within fora like even the IGF, where there's huge efforts made to have a decent representation of developing countries as well, there is still a very clear uh, balance towards the north. Um, Often the processes that are discussed also have consequences for people who are not online. So it's not just about underrepresentation of, say, developing countries as such, but also the fact that uh, what we discuss here will impact lives of people who are not able to access the internet at the moment. Then the debate is often phrased in terms of we should ensure that everybody has access, but again, access to the internet as such is not going to solve all the issues. And I think uh, maybe the best example to give at the moment is that of access to knowledge. The way internet governance processes are going, they are actually forcing IP regimes in a direction that makes intellectual property rights stronger and stronger, and uh, ensures that there are stronger and stronger panel 